I'm 46 years old. When I was a kid, Halloween was my favorite time of year. I absolutely loved it. I loved going trick-or-treating. When I was a kid, we did not worry about dogs when we went trick-or-treating. I think back and I can't really remember any dogs uh, in people's homes. I don't remember any dogs barking at us, scaring us, running out of the houses to sniff us and circle us. Um, it was so much fun and we were carefree and it was just so magical. I loved Halloween. So when I had kids of my own, I really looked forward to going trick-or-treating with them. And for many years, I really enjoyed going trick-or-treating with my kids. And we had similar experiences uh, to my experiences. Uh, you know, my kids had a lot of fun. But what we noticed over the last few years, and especially last year, last year was just ridiculous. We noticed that the neighborhood that we would go trick-or-treating in every year had become absolutely infested with dogs. It was ridiculous. We were walking around the streets and we were subjected to a constant barrage of barking dogs. It was relentless. They did not stop. Dogs were barking from all directions. It was stressful listening to these alarm sounds because that's what a dog's bark is. It's an alarm. Um, but it's more than just an alarm. It's a threat. It's like if someone was yelling at you from behind the fence. Hey, 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 hey. If I could get through this fence, if I could jump over this fence, or if I could dig under this fence, I would kill you. I would bite you. I would hurt you. Hey, hey, hey. You know, would imagine a neighborhood with a bunch of people behind the fence screaming at you, yelling at you, saying these things to you. You know, dogs can't speak. But that's basically the message they are sending to you. And we react to that. It's not fun. It's not pleasant to listen to. It's actually super stressful. And so we were constantly on edge, distracted, uh, and, and unable to enjoy ourselves just because of the barking sounds that were, like I said, constant. Uh, there were homes that we went to where the dog would rush out of the door and sniff my children, circle around them, make my children feel very uncomfortable. And, you know, they were on edge. They went to certain homes where they told me there were unrestrained dogs within the home that didn't rush out of the home, but were there and uh, were not being restrained in any way. Some of these dogs were bully breeds. My kids are aware of all of the dog attacks that happen regularly, and they are aware of how dog attacks are on the rise, how most dog attacks on children are completely unprovoked uh, and occur when the children are sleeping in their cribs or sitting in their bouncy chairs or in their car seats or playing with their toys or riding their bikes or walking to school or stepping off the school bus. Uh, they're aware of the disfigurements and the fatalities. Uh, my kids are informed, so they were not having a good time. I was not having a good time because I'm aware that most dogs that attack unprovoked are family dogs that were raised with love and that were well trained by people who believed they knew what they were doing with their dogs. And the dogs that attack are usually uh, the best dogs for many, many years and showed no aggression and attacked out of the blue. Um, I've read stories of children that were attacked uh, for doing nothing other than ringing a doorbell or knocking on a door. Uh, while trick-or-treating. 
So this proliferation of dogs, this infestation that we see now in neighborhoods across the country, I know this is a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, it was a member of my Discord server who suggested I make this video, even though Halloween has been over for a, a few days now. Uh, I, I've been wanting to make this video. I actually thought about making it last year because dogs completely ruined our Halloween last year. We did not go trick-or-treating this year because of COVID-19. But even if we were not in the middle of a pandemic, I would not have gone trick-or-treating just because of the dog infestation, this dog menace. There are articles on the internet that talk about how stressful Halloween is for the dogs themselves. People are dressing their dogs up in Halloween costumes, which the dogs do not enjoy. The dog has no idea what is going on. It has no conception of Halloween. It doesn't understand what, ha what Halloween is. It doesn't understand what dressing up is. It doesn't understand what trick-or-treating is. And what I have heard from people, uh, viewers that have written to me, um, and what I have been reading online is that people are now bringing their dogs trick-or-treating. Like, as if the dogs are children, as if the dogs are able to partake in this holiday that they don't understand at all. They, these people are treating dogs like children. Children have the ability to imagine, to pretend that they are something, uh, you know, a superhero or whatever, whatever character they're dressed up as. It's magical for them. They can pretend. Dogs don't have this capacity. They don't know what's going on. The dog feels uncomfortable when you dress it up in a costume. This is just evidence that dog owners don't understand dogs, that they are treating dogs as something they're not. They're humanizing dogs, uh, and they are not thinking about the interests of the dog. They, they, they don't care about the dog. There are articles that uh, you can read about how dogs are uh, you know, very stressed out by the activity, the doorbell ringing, the, the the kids showing up in costumes, all of this is very stressful to the animal. So if these people truly cared about their dogs, they would put their dogs away in another room and, uh, you know, first of all, they wouldn't get a dog because just having a dog in a human environment and subjecting it to these human activities, just living in a community where these activities are taking place is stressful to the dog. So just... Keeping a dog captive, imprisoning a dog. Because that's what pet ownership is. It is imprisoning an animal. An animal that wants to be free. Uh, it's cruel. Like I've discussed in my videos, dogs are attracted to the flickering candles inside of jack-o'-lanterns. They catch on fire. Their fur burns. They eat chocolate that kills them, makes them very sick. Uh, it just goes on and on. You know, the fireworks associated with Halloween are very stressful to animals. If you truly care about animals, you wouldn't own one. You wouldn't support pet ownership. Now, I am just at my wit's end with this whole dog worship stuff. Sometimes I really feel like just quitting because just thinking about this stuff is so exhausting and so upsetting that I really have to try to focus on other things. The fact that I cannot enjoy Halloween with my children is devastating to me. Because like I said, it was my favorite time of year, my favorite holiday, and I would love for my children to have the same sorts of memories. But now they are scared for their lives, and rightfully so, because children are being attacked and killed by dogs on a regular basis. Children that have done nothing to the dog, these are children that are walking to school or waiting for the school bus or riding their bikes, paying no attention to the dog. And yet still there is this myth that is perpetuated constantly that when a child gets attacked by, the, by a dog, the child had it coming. The child provoked the dog when in reality, most attacks were unprovoked. 
Most attacks occur because a child looks and sounds like a prey animal in distress. With their frenetic movements, their high-pitched sounds that trigger the dog and you know, launch the dog into something called predatory drift, which I have talked about in my video called It Doesn't Matter How You Raise Them, It Has Nothing to Do With The Owner. People are treating their dogs like humans, like children, and doing this is making the dogs go crazy. Dogs are being diagnosed with psychiatric issues, and then they are being pumped full of these drugs to try to make them more manageable. You know, this is so sick. Uh, I just feel disgusted with this whole dog worship phenomenon and how it has become culturally acceptable to put children and dogs on the same level, to even elevate dogs to a status that is, be, is, is above children. They put dogs above children, and this is just so mind-blowingly... I, I can't even find the word. It's just so crazy that they are putting shit-eating, remorseless predators above children and, and bringing them trick-or-treating. I, I don't know. Am I the only one who thinks this is absolutely insane? And when they show videos on the news of dogs dressed up in Halloween costumes showing up at the door trick-or-treating, that this is treated as something that is cute, um, it, 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 you know, by animal lovers, so-called animal lovers. It's not cute. It is cruel to the dog. It is endangering our children you know, having all these dogs about. I remember last year when we were walking around trying to trick-or-treat with all these dogs barking at us, uh, harassing us for doing nothing wrong. You know, and these dog worshippers will say that the dog is protecting their homes. You know, to protect your home, your home needs to be under attack. It needs to be threatened by something. You, you know, Protecting is a defensive action against an offensive act. Uh, and, and we were not being offensive. So there was nothing to protect against. You know, if you're going to have a job as a security guard, then you need to be able to distinguish between a threat and a non-threat. Children celebrating Halloween are not a threat. So we were walking around the neighborhood and I saw multiple children maybe a few teenagers and some adults, with dogs on leashes. In many cases, the dogs were much too large and powerful for the child to be able to control. And even the adults uh, were seemingly um, being dragged around by these dogs that were out of control. And if those dogs had chosen to launch an attack on an innocent child that looked like a prey animal to its little lemon-sized brain. Um, you know, it, these dogs are pea-brained or lemon-brained, as one of my viewers recently pointed out. Uh, Instinct-driven predators that are bloodthirsty and see elderly people and young vulnerable children as easy prey, if one of those dogs had decided to launch an attack, these children and these weak adults would have been powerless to stop it. When we went out trick-or-treating last year, we felt unsafe. And our holiday is ruined. Halloween is ruined for us because of dog worshippers. And it makes me very, very sad. I get emotional when I talk about this because, like I said, my best memories of growing up were of Halloween and trick-or-treating and how safe we felt in our communities. Visiting the neighbors' homes and, and to be greeted by their warm smiles. And, and now it's just so surreal. We feel that 
these people are terrorists and that they are terrorizing our neighborhoods and ruining our lives. If you feel the same way, please share your experience in the comments. And thank you for supporting my channel. I just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is amazing. I thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching, everyone. The future oh, is dark. Look, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh look at they the, changed they get costumes. All the costumes. <laughs> and they're like waiting at her doorstep. And I, I can't even read. I just want to look at the babies. Look at their faces. <laughs> <laughs> They somehow seem unamused by this. But oh, my gosh. She calls them the rescued boys. And then she posted, oh, gosh, what is this? They, um, she posted a message saying, when you find the house giving out the best candy and you go back in different costumes, hoping they won't be suspicious. Yeah. Oh, gosh. The dogs <laughs> dressed up as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Winnie the Pooh, Lion King, Super Mario. This is the cutest thing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Getting them all to stay in those costumes long enough to do this video, though, that is a uh, right. job well done. But these faces, though, why do they look like people? They're like, what are you doing to us? That's exactly what they're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they're thinking. <laughs>